All right, when we fly quadcopters, these motors right here are spinning pretty good. And they are creating vibrations, which we call noise, that the gyro is picking up in the flight controller. Now in Betaflight's filter settings tab, we use these filters here to filter out that noise. But what do we really mean by noise from the motors? So this month is Hacktoberfest. And Hacktoberfest is a recognition of all the open source projects out there in the world. The FPV hobby relies heavily on open source development projects from the radio transmitter firmware to the flight controller software to the ESC firmware. And there's other open source firmware out there as well to analyze the flight data and increase flight performance. So today we're going to take a look at Black Box to Sound. Black Box to Sound was developed by Bastian Sonderman. He's the same gentleman that did the stick overlays that Joshua Bardwell uses a lot when he shows his flight videos. And you can find both of those on his repository here, and I'll drop this link below to his GitHub site. Black Box to Sound is a new project he's created, so we can just click on that right here. And we can see all the source code here, and then he has releases here as well, so we can click releases. And then you can see here are the releases. If you want to download this and use this app, you would just click it here. Right now, there's just an option for Windows. You'd save that to your desktop, open the zip file, and then just drag this to your desktop. Once unzipped, you can just click this black box to sound exe, and that will open this application. From here, you can just grab the black box file you want to listen to, and go ahead and grab and drag and drop that onto the application window here. I'm not going to do that because it has to load up. I already have one dropped in, but it will just uncompress it and load it in and you'll be presented with this user interface. It's fairly basic right now. But what you can do is actually listen to the vibrations that the gyro is detecting. And we're going to go ahead and show that and show what it sounds like here in just a second. But you basically have filtered, unfiltered. So unfiltered would rely on you recording gyro underscore scale debug when you're recording the black box if you're using Betaflight. A filtered would be after the filtering, of course. It's roll, pitch, and yaw, so you can uncheck these to just isolate one axis versus the other. And then you can listen to the gyro signal, which would be filtered versus un unfiltered, roll, pitch, or yaw, whatever you choose, or the D-term. Now, the D-term is always going to be filtered, and that will be either roll, pitch, or yaw. So this box doesn't matter up here. It's always going to be filtered when it's selected on D-Herm. So if we just listen to this really quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and put it on gyro and then I'm going to do unfiltered and I can play that. And what you're going to hear here is the noise that is on the gyro signal. So this is the vibrations in the raw signal, no filtering, that the gyro is picking up from the motors and any other vibrations that the frame may have. But let's do a little composite here with this and some flight video and some black box logs so we can kind of drive home that when we talk about noise on the frame or on the gyro that it's picking up the noise, it is literally the same noise that you hear in the air when you're spinning up the motors. Sounds a little different, it's a little muffled a little bit more, but it is the same vibration frequency. It's the same thing you hear. So when we say we're filtering out the noise, that's the noise you hear. The gyroscope is picking that up as well and we're filtering that out. So let's go ahead and do some comparisons here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna run three different comparisons here. I'm gonna run the first. It's gonna be the same short clip with just the raw noise so you can hear what it looks like there. And then we're gonna do filtered and then the D term. So you can just hear the three different things. I'm not gonna talk over it so that you can actually listen to it and listen to the differences. So I'll just run each and I'll have a little card in between. What we have going to have here on the screen is the settings. So you'll see here it's going to be the unfiltered roll and on the gyro. And then you'll see this change when we go to the next one for the filtered. It will This red check will be over here. It will still be roll and gyro. And then when it's determined, this check will be down here. You will see on the screen here as well, you're going to have the raw vibrations. And then the filtered is the little line that's in between there. So our filtering in any of the flight firmwares is taking that raw up and down signal, which is the literally the noise that the gyroscope is picking up, the same stuff again that you're hearing in the air. And it's attenuating that or it's flattening it out. It's averaging it out basically. It's not an average, but it's the same. Think of it that way. 
And you can see that you know these big up and down spikes are being reduced to something much less. And you can hear that in the when you listen to the gyro filtered signal. On the right here, you're gonna have just a little meter and you can see the green, yellow, and red. And then we're just gonna be listening to roll just for simplification purposes for the video. So without further ado, let's play all three through and then I'll see you on the backside. Oh, before I do play them all, the synchronization for some reason was a little tough. Uh, I basically just recorded it with OBS. I don't know why it goes off sync. So just bear with me, it's a short clip. You'll see in the very beginning, the first couple rolls, it's synced pretty well, but then near further a little bit long in the clip, it starts to go off sync a little bit. So apologize for that, bear with me. I've nuts with it too much time, so I'm just, it is what it is. Okay, so that is it. So how does this fit into your everyday flying? Well, a lot of people will say, you know, I, you know, maybe I need to look at black box to see if my quad is noisy. Really, you can just, is it noisy? Is it loud? If it's loud and noisy, then your gyroscope is probably picking that up. And that's the noise we have to attenuate. 
This is a nice little tool. If you don't want to look in black box, you can just kind of do a log quick. Do make sure when you do your logs that you do gyro underscore scale debug mode here set. And I would recommend around two kilohertz sampling frequency. If you just set up black box and do nothing else, it will record as long as there's an empty SD card or you have space on your flash up here. If the flash isn't empty, you could hit delete flash up here and then it will empty it out. But it will, black box in Betaflight will record when you arm. You don't need to have modes set or anything like that. You just get this stuff set up. As long as there's space somewhere, it will record it. Then you could download that file and just copy it into here and you can just listen to your raw noise, see how loud it is, see how high it goes. It should stay in the green. If you're going out and consistently in the red for like long durations of time, it's it's pretty noisy quad. If you then want to listen to it filtered on the gyro signal, you should not really hear motor noise. If you hear motor noise, you need more gyro filtering. That means you're not killing out the peak noise. So we want, with the gyro filtering and the notches and whatnot, it should be killing out the peak noise. I would imagine it would, especially if you're using RPM filtering with the dynamic notch as well. Those notch filters are really effective at killing out peak noise and they're totally dynamic, so they're gonna track everything. So I couldn't imagine it wouldn't, but you can listen to it there, and that gives you a sense. Again, also with checking out your D-term noise, if it's consistently up here in the red, that's too noisy. I mean, if it flies well, more power to it, but if you're having flight troubles and problems, and you can run it through this utility to kind of get a sense of where you stand if you're not that familiar with black box and how it should really look and what are good parameters. If you find this utility helpful, Bastion does have a PayPal link. I will drop down in the video description as well if you wanted to throw him a couple bucks or use that or the stick overlay tool. Hopefully this little run through and sample helped uh, demystify what noise is on the gyro. It's literally the noise, again, that you can hear in the air, same stuff. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helped. And like smash that like button, please. Cause then I, if, if you guys get me a billion likes, then I can make videos that are Fortnite. So do you want Fortnite videos or this video? What's better?